All right, YouTube, so after seeing Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes for a second time last night, a video idea was born. So this vlog is five summer 2024 movies and my expectations for them. This is not a top five per se, but just five movies I stumbled across and five movies I've heard of before or whatnot. But anyways, like, let's get to the list. So uh, just for full transparency, most of these movies I haven't been following too much of the marketing for, but I have heard of them. This isn't like, you know, some of those other movies I've seen where I just found out about it like a few days before. I have been aware that these movies have been on the horizon and I do have some expectations for them, which are high expectations for the most part. So let's get straight into it. So the first movie on this list is Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, believe it or not, I have not seen any of the Deadpool movies nor most of the Wolverine movies. So I'm in for a big surprise, I imagine. But um. I can imagine Badoo-Doo, this movie, looking very interesting and having a very interesting and creative concept behind the whole movie. I just find it fascinating. Um, I forgot my lines a bit, so I rambled on there for a second, but I'm expecting this movie to sort of make me want to watch the Deadpool and Wolverine movies because I haven't watched them. Now, although I have not seen the full movies behind them, I have seen little bits and pieces of their characters on the big screen, and I have liked what I've seen. I also just like their characters in general so I definitely have big expectations for this movie especially with Hugh Jackman coming on the big screen again. I have seen the trailer for this movie several times so naturally I really like the trailer and I'm ex expecting big things for this movie so Deadpool and Wolverine don't let me down. The next movie on this list is one that's coming out very very soon and that's Mad Max Furiosa now similarly to Mad Ma I mean similarly to Deadpool and Wolverine I haven't seen any of the Mad Max movies before but I have heard great things about them, so I definitely have big expectations. I have watched the trailer for Mad Max many times, but um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. The movie looks very interesting and suspenseful, and I look forward to finding out the backstory behind these characters who I don't know a gosh awful lot about. Now, number four on this list is very different from the other three that I mentioned, and that's this one is Inside Out Part 2. I have seen the first Inside Out before, although I didn't. The last time I think I saw it was like seven or eight years ago, back when I was a teenager. So, you know, I haven't seen it in a while. I need to rewatch it to say the least. But I can remember really liking it, and even back then, I think like you know what I liked about it back then would still be applicable to me today, despite being much older. But um, I actually saw the first Inside Out in theaters back in 2015, and I really liked it then. So, I found the story very um touching and creative and interesting. So. I expect that for this one too and um, I'm even maybe hoping this will be one of those sequels that's even better than the original but we'll see. Now the fifth movie on this list is The Bike Riders. So I saw the trailer for this movie when I was watching Planet of the Apes for the first time and speaking of that I need to watch Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes a third time because it's that good. But anyways The Bike Riders does look kind of predictable to be brutally honest but it still looks like a fun and entertaining movie because I find biker aesthetic very entertaining and interesting. I own a biker jacket which is very badass so that's a fun fact about me I guess. But yeah back to the bike riders the cast definitely looks good I recognize a lot of these people so you know I'm expecting a good cast of characters for the movie and hopefully the movie surprises me I expect it to be good nothing too special but you know of the five movies I'd say this is the one I'm looking forward to the least but I'm still looking forward to it I've seen a lot of good movies so far this year I've become a movie buff this year so hopefully that continues and I'm looking forward to this summer to watch all these awesome movies and give you guys even great vlogs throughout the summer so thank you all so much for watching stay tuned for more soon goodbye